What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15 back with another mail day and sh uh, card shop hopping recap. Get to that in a little bit. First off, the mail. Uh, I saw uh, Chris pull this in one of the breaks uh, somebody had ordered, so I got online and got one. Pretty decent price. Uh, first autograph, uh, 2011 Tops UFC Moment of Truth of Mike Goldberg. He is the uh, announcer for the major broadcast. He's the play-by-play -play guy, and his Joe Rogan is the analyst for the MMA PC. Uh, 2012 uh, Tops Golden Moments, Tim Hudson, jersey card. Pick that one up. It was like $3 ship. And then uh, Big Nick's sports cards out there in... Uh, North Dakota, you may have heard that name in the videos from Distemic, Micah, that is his card shop of choice, so shout out to Galen on that one, and uh, 12 out of 50, I was able to do a uh, best offer on this, I appreciate it, 2012 Tops Silk Collection, Tim Hudson, very nice, so here uh Interested? There's a website. They are on uh, eBay, obviously, or they have a physical store uh, out there in uh, the North Dakota area. So thank you, uh, as always, for that. Uh, mail from a YouTuber. That guy, Army ATC22. You may have seen him uh, tearing up some breaks with uh, Chris recently. So uh, good stuff there. Uh, Tom, thanks again. Hope everything is going well. Alex, Army ATC 22. It's going just fine, sir. Thank you for asking. And uh, he did some. Uh, he did a group break surrounding the uh, the Super Bowl uh, contest that Blowout was uh, having, and I saw a couple cards in there that I liked. And he sent along some extras here. Some uh, some babes got a. Uh, Rookie out of 399 of Ramon Guzman. Got a uh, Legends Lydell Mitchell out of 249. And a base Joseph Dye out of 659. And then the two cards that I purchased. Sam, thank you for the extras. The two cards that I purchased uh, 13 out of 25, two color. Patch Banner Season subset of Marvin Harrison. And uh, I had an auto of his before. Uh, it was another one of the 1988 Swell Greats autos certified uh, similar to the John Unitas. But uh, I, I've wanted one of these and I've been outbid on these before. Uh, so it's good that I got it. A 34 out of 73. Hall of Fame offensive lineman for the Baltimore Colts. It's uh, taken from a check with his full name, James, written out. Uh, Jim Parker. So that is a very nice looking card. Just chopped off a little bit of the loop of the J. But other, other than that, it is spot on. All right. Um, went to uh, a couple of different local card stores. Um, started off at Mike's and uh, picked up a couple of things for that are going to end up in packages going out to people this week but uh, picked up some, some base for me along the way here a new SP Authentic Anthony Costanzo uh, this was Tops Pat Anger Rookies and Stars Joseph Adai Austin Colley Tops Prime Dallas Clark Reggie Wayne, Pierre Garçon, uh, Tops Chrome Garçon, Tops Platinum Clark, Adai, and Wayne, uh, 2008 Bowman Rookie of Jacob Tammy, I believe that's one of Colts free agents this offseason, 06 Bowman Dwight Freeney, 04 Tops Total Dwight Freeney, Another platinum base, Peyton Manning. We got uh, certified 
2011 Reggie Wayne. And a couple of numbered cards. Uh, 2010 Tops Gold. Number 2, 20, uh, 2010 Jared Hughes. And a triple threads base out of 250 of Joseph Adai. So, yeah, most of the money that was spent there was, uh, like I said, on stuff for other people. Um, next, uh, while I was there, um, before I move on from Mike's, uh, went, uh, met up with, uh, Nick, uh, Yankee Fan 95, who had a few of his, uh, stadium giveaways. I just wonder why this thing fell too. Um, and also JPK, JPK 19, James is there. Uh, he busted some packs of Topps Chrome, pulled a Ryan Kerrigan auto. You should see a video from him soon. Um, the first item here is a uh, Jaguars versus Colts. Um, not quite sure how to put all this. Uh, it's like a program of sorts. And it's got uh, the Colts rosters, uh, both teams' rosters, they're starting offenses and defenses in the matchups, specialists, uh, who the officials are. This is all from the uh, New Year's Day game against Jacksonville, which locked in the fact they were going to uh, be the number one pick overall, and it includes uh, some pronunciation guides as well. Like Fili Muwala and Lije Duzabul. Yeah, so some fun ones there. So that's an interesting display piece. Probably end up on a wall. A uh, little helmet. It says Mighty on the back of it. A uh, little Play 60. Uh, magnet and a Lucas Oil inaugural game pin with the Colts logo. So those are all excellent, and then there were cards on top of that. Got uh, let's see, uh, Blair White, 2011 Tops Gold. Jacob Tammy Gold Rookie. Uh, Burt Jones uh, Numbered uh, Icons. 250. Jacob Tammy Rookie at 750. Uh, the NFL Icons Subset All Numbered 799. Adai, Clark, and Bob Sanders. Tops Turkey Red Black Parallel, Marvin Harrison. Uh, Reggie Wayne, 2011 uh, Certified Mirror Red to 250. Uh, Raymond Berry Gold Standard, uh, base card presumably, and 299. Delone Carter, Certified Potential at a 999. This is the one I got the redemption from, the auto version. Uh, Delone Carter tops prime rookie to 999. Uh, prime rookies uh, insert card. Peyton Manning, uh, Panini Kings of the NFL uh, insert set from Crown Royal. Uh, Anthony Costanzo, Threads rookie. Jim Parker Heritage Collection insert. Delone Carter, finest X Fractor of 399. Anthony Gonzalez, Dante Hughes, contenders, uh, draft class, insert parallel 250. Tops Legends, Delone Carter, aspiring uh, legacies, insert. Tops Prime, Austin Collie, green parallel, thick card. Kelvin Hayden, 2005 Bowman Chrome Red Refractor Rookie. It's not numbered. 2005 Tops Bazooka Quad, Strahan Curse Peppers and Franey. Uh, Joe Burrow, 
Joseph Adai, Bowman uh, Topps Chrome X Fractor. 2004 Topps Chrome, Paint Manning uh, Weekly Rack of Refractor. And number 85 out of 318 Topps Prime Delon Carter uh, Rookie Jumbo Relic. And there we are. So, fantastic stuff from Nick. Thank you, sir, as always. Be sure to be hitting you back with something real soon. And um, so we went to a second shop, and it was it was basically because we were on a little quest to see if anybody had not caught up with the Jeremy Lin craze. I wasn't sure if maybe all the hobby owners, hobby shop owners, were. Uh, completely tuned tuned in to how hot he's been. He's gotten in just a matter of days. Um, one guy while we were there, before I tipped my hand as to what I was looking for, basically uh, said to one of the other guys, "Hey, have you seen this kid Lynn?" And so I knew I was screwed there. And then we get to the other place, and the guy basically laughed at me. Um, not only did they they didn't. They had a very limited amount to begin with, if, if any. They said with the singles, he didn't really give me a straight answer on the singles. But he had pulled every single product that Lynn's rookie was in off the shelves and put them on eBay, uh, just just to, just to capitalize on people trying to chase and find one of his cards. So um, yeah, so the cat's out of the bag on that one. But if you know any stores in the area, it's worth probably worth checking out. Um, so at the second one, Kelly bought a box of 20, uh, 2011 uh, limited football, and I'll uh, link his channel there. He should be putting up a recap video with his hits shortly. He did okay, uh, nothing earth shattering. Uh, we would have bought it at Mike's, but Mike didn't have it uh, or anything comparable. So um, yeah, so we were a little disappointed at that. But um, at the first first one of the Mike's we stopped at, I bought. Um, a couple of cards, uh, Hudson jersey in the three dollar box, so why not? Uh, 2007 SP rookie thread scripted in time, Joseph Adai autograph number one of 100. And uh, this was the real find, um, and I called Adam MJIL about this. Uh, 2009. Tops UFC Round 2 Matt Hamill uh, Red Ink Autograph number 24 of 25 and it's signed The Hammer Now for those of you who are uh, are into UFC and specifically UFC cards uh, you understand the rarity of that and the fact that his stuff from here on out will probably be limited or non-existent because he's no longer active. Um, the Hammer had to uh, retire because he had uh, he was not healthy basically for a long, long period of time. He was one of uh, on one of the Ultimate Fighter shows uh, and he has uh, a hearing problem. So he's already at a disadvantage when he goes in where he's basically deaf. And he kept having injuries in his camps and didn't really let him Prepare for fights. Um, he has a victory on the books over John Jones in a fight where Bones was dominating him and uh, ended up losing via disqualification because of 12 to 6 elbows. And then he went on and he lost uh, some other fights, including Rampage Jackson, who just outclassed him. And so his stuff will probably be fairly limited. And to get a limited version of a guy with a limited population, couldn't turn it down. Um, so if anybody's, that is not one I'm going to keep. Okay, I, I picked that up as a as a potential investment slash resell. Um, my MMA PC doesn't usually involve a lot of the variants and the high ends. I mean, a base autograph of a guy is fine, and I will replace that in my collection once I've I've sold this one with just one of the regular ones. Because he's been in some subsequent releases, just not many. Um, so if anybody's interested in that, let me know. That will probably end up on eBay very quickly. So uh, act uh, act now if you're interested. All right, I want to thank uh, Mike at Mike Sports Cards and Collectibles. 
uh, Army ATC 22 uh, for the deal. Uh, Nick Yankee fan 95 uh, for all the cards. James JPK JPK 19 for hanging out, and of course uh, Rams fan 2981 Kelly for coming along on the uh, the ride with me today. Links to everyone will be in the description box. And uh, everybody have a fine weekend. If you can get to watch Jeremy Lin again tonight, go right ahead. All right, YouTube. Peace.